Yes, welcome back to the Smithy Shop one more time. Today we're going to roll this head out of the way, move this back so we can show you the different uh, ways to adjust your lathe chuck. In fact, how to just get the chuck on and off the machine properly. To remove our chuck, I'm going to put a piece of cardboard here on the table so I've got a place to set the chuck. Take a little piece of round stock, be broomstick, this little piece of aluminum. This is something to grab a hold of so the chuck doesn't drop and, and fall down here and damage your machine. Now, we've got three of these cams located around the spindle. Okay, I've got two of them loose already. On this one here, you can see the little alignment mark here. And then there's another mark on the cam itself. What we're going to do is we're going to turn those so they line up. Okay, just like that. You see the two marks are aligned. When that, when you've got all three of them like that, you can grab your chuck, wiggle it, pull it right off the machine, just like that. That's what your chuck mount looks like. Now when you're installing your chuck, or installing a new chuck, when you turn this clockwise, you want this little mark here to be somewhere between this area here, anywhere around over to about here. You can have two conditions that aren't right. You can have one to where you turn it and it only moves just a little bit, okay? Or you can have the condition where you turn this and it just spins all the way around, never grabs. Those things are compensated for by the screws that we have here on our chucks. Let me show you how to do these adjustments, especially if you're putting on a new chuck. What we'll do is take this one here, for example. We're going to take an Allen wrench. Oops, so that's pretty tight. Let's get this thing loosened off of here. There we go. You see, if we do these, take these screws out, there, now you'll find that this stud just unscrews out of here, just like this. Okay. When you get a new chuck, maybe you buy a four jaw chuck or, or face plate, you'll have to install these. There's a little reference line right on the side. So what you're going to do, you're going to screw this in here and you're going to screw it down to where the reference line is level with this surface here. You don't screw it down all the way tight, just screw it down to that reference line. Okay. Then we'll put our locking screw back in there, do that with all three studs, put it on the chuck and try it. Okay. Now if you get a condition to where the little cam is spinning all the way around, that means that this stud is not screwed in far enough. So you want to take the chuck off, screw that stud in one turn, try it again. If you have one of the conditions where you can't turn this more than just a very little bit, that means that that stud is screwed in too far. You want to undo that locking screw, back it up one notch, and try it again. It may take a couple of attempts, but once you get that adjusted right, you won't have to mess with it anymore. Once everything is adjusted, we can take our chuck, Put it right back on the machine, lock our cams down, and we're ready to go. Now, here's a little tip for you to make your chuck a little more accurate. Since there are three mounting studs, that means there's three different positions that this chuck could be installed on the spindle. Now, everything has tolerance. You know, it's plus or minus a half a thousandth or it's a thousandth. What we want to do is we want to get those tolerances to offset each other. So what you do is you put your chuck on the machine, lock it on, put a dial indicator on here, and, and check the runout. Take it off, move it a notch, put it back on, check it again. Do that in all three positions. When you find the position that is the most accurate, you put a little mark here. See, I put a mark right here on my spindle, and on this one here, ah, there it is. There's the mark on my chuck. So each time I mount this chuck, I make sure this mark and this mark line up, and I know I have the most accurate mounting possible for that chuck and lathe setup. Now you've learned how to get your lathe chuck on and off, how to set it up for the most 
accurate possible working. Your machine should be a very accurate and precise piece of equipment for you now. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy shop. Until next time.